Welcome back to Girl Talk. As you can see, we are filming here in a fabulous kitchen at Bella Domicile. We can't wait to chat about it later in the show, but don't worry, because we've got a very fun topic <laughs> just right now for you. Tia Lynn is here. You may recognize her. She is a designer. We are always glad to have you. It's such a blessing to see you, but also the owner of Contours Lingerie on Mineral Point Road. Thanks for being here. Thanks so much for having me. We love seeing you. So I think we can all say that we have become hooked, pun mm -hmm. intended, <laughs> on Tia's oh. bras, thanks. <laughs> um, and seriously though, on uh, just a personal level, after having a professional bra fitting with you, it's really given me a lot of confidence because you never know what you're in for with something like that. But not only did you make the experience really fun, but I'm telling you, once you once you finally get that bra that fits right, a few of them, um, and you can't go back because for the first time, I feel like everything in my closet, I have the confidence to wear because I know it's gonna look right. It's, I've got a few pieces to go to, so thank you for that. I appreciate it. Oh, I'm so glad to hear that. Yeah. <laughs> you know, our mini makeovers are my favorite part of contours and do it the way that we play dress up a little bit and people bring in different outfits. But even more so, I think it's so cool how it changes what you can do in your daily activities, whether yeah. it's walking up and down the stairs without going like this, <laughs> or being able to lift your arm and not have your bra go up like this. I feel that it's really important for women's confidence to be able to move effortlessly. Mm -hmm. And your bra shouldn't be something that is in the way. We have exactly. more important things to worry about. Mm -hmm. yes. <laughs> That's so true. <laughs> Yes, and one of the other things I wanted to touch on really quick too that I was surprised about is, uh, I don't know if anyone else out there has experienced this, but you go without any kind of real padding or anything. There's nothing extra there, mm -hmm. but yet you still look better and have better posture and it's just, it's incredible. I was Lifted. Yeah, lifted. It's really a great thing. So other mm -hmm. than, I guess, looking good and maybe feeling more confident, are there health reasons to wear the right size bra? Absolutely. I mean, confidence and all of that is really good for mental health, definitely. True. But for physical health, oftentimes we see that women come in wearing bras that the underwire hits on their glands, and that, that can be very serious, besides incredibly uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. yeah, Not to mention. Mental. <laughs> and good posture is good for a good life. That's true, Absolutely. too. Good stuff. And I had a question too. Um, do you help women find bras after they've had a mastectomy or a lumpectomy? And I know my great grandmother, she had breast cancer, so she had a mastectomy. And I know that was something that was really difficult for her at that time in her life to find something that she could wear that would still fit her right. So she could, you know, feel good and feel confident like we're talking about and go out every single day. Absolutely. Awesome. We make it a point to make sure that everybody feels comfortable coming through our doors. And part of that is that all of this is very normal today. Mm -hmm. Having a mastectomy, a lungpectomy, reconstruction, one boob's bigger than another one, or there's one or two, it's all pretty normal. Yeah. And so it's just a matter of, you know, finding something that works for that person's lifestyle and that fits and gives them the support that they need. Isn't that. it nice that we're finally at a stage where women can talk about some of those issues mm -hmm. because like you're saying, they're normal and they maybe always have been normal, just not normal to talk mm -hmm. about and get help with. Exactly, yeah. and everybody just wants to feel confident in the skin they're in and look their best. Yeah. Definitely. I agree. And I'm gonna switch us, that's a, you know, an important serious topic that I think I'm glad we touched on. Uh, but I'm gonna switch us back to a light one because I wanna talk about the cute bralettes and, and, and whether or not you can wear those, what, how supportive are they? Mm -hmm. Let's touch on that for a minute. They're not terribly supportive, and that's kind of the point. The no. idea is, <laughs> the idea is relax at home with the light support, uh -huh. or wear it over your bra during the day well, under that cute little wrap dress that's kind of too low, or consider it part of your ta-da moment. Some women are sleeping in them. Mm -hmm. Oh. You know, but for, for more than a, extended period of time, it's not really enough support for all of sure. your ligaments. Right. Gotcha. So you're not going to go for a jog in them? No. <laughs> <laughs> or you'd be the talk of the town if you did. <laughs> well, it's always fun chatting with you. I absolutely encourage anyone, viewers out there, to um, go over to Contours and let Tia and her fantastic staff um, give you the real professional bra fitting that all of us women deserve. Mm -hmm. So thanks for sharing. Thanks, Tia. We've got more Girl Talk coming up after the break, so please stick with us.